My name is Sandra Scourin, and the title of the book is Forging Ahead, Pittsburgh at 250. Well, now, what prompted you to write this book? And, and you did it in, uh, in concert with others, right? Yes. This is an uh, effort of the Trib Total Media staff, the Pittsburgh Tribune Review, and we had staff writers compile the information, staff photographers uh, obtain photographs, and we also have archival photographs, and it's just a lovely, lovely book. Well, it was, it was great to be here in Pittsburgh for the 250th anniversary. Uh, we learned a lot about ourselves looking back over 250 years, and I think this is a, a great way to review those years in, in one compact volume. Yeah, absolutely, and the thing in terms of researching this is that so many things that I found out about Pittsburgh, I didn't know, and I was born here. And there are so many things that happen, such as the, you know, the railroad strike of 1877, floods, all sorts of, we think of the 1936 flood, but there were a number of others. And it's just, um, it, it starts in terms of George Washington coming here, deciding that you know, the forks of the Ohio were a great place to, to locate a city, and we go from there. Well, now, th you've got some late-breaking history, too, <laughs> with this, this latest effort. This is, again, uh, a... Uh, a concerted effort, uh, yeah. you and your colleagues at uh, the Trib? Right, it's by the staff of the Pittsburgh Trib, and we have photographs that our photographers took. We also have archival photos from the days when uh, city leaders were trying to decide where to locate um, a, a, a civic auditorium, is what they called it, and it eventually involved into the concept for the civic arena. Well, uh, you know, this, uh, this is a story that is still being made as uh, the city decides the future of the igloo. Uh, do you think that this will help inform the decision makers uh, to make uh, a thoughtful decision? I, I would hope that it would. One thing about the arena is that it is a monumental engineering achievement. It, there is no single structural support in that building and there are tons of steel in the dome and it is just it, it was a place of so many memories of so many great artists and sports athletes who came and appeared there and this is a, a wonderful memento of that. I, I would hope that it would help them make a decision to realize what a gem it is. And what's next uh, in the works for Trip Total Media? No, we're, we're trying to decide that, so we'll let you know. it. <laughs> Are you sure you guys want to be in the newspaper business, or would you really uh, rather be historians? Well, I love history. I think history lives in all of us, and I truly enjoyed working on these books. And I think there, in some ways history affects where we are and what we are and how the city is now. So we're very, very happy to, to bring it to an audience. Thanks for being here. Welcome. Thank you.